All right, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday Talks. Hope you uh, have a, had a wonderful day today. I am very excited to welcome all of you to our podcast here on Tuesday Talks. So we're going to get started because we've got a lot to cover. and We've got more people here joining us here momentarily. and We've got a very special guest speaker who's going to be joining us as well. So let me go ahead and uh, bring up my PowerPoint here. Give me one second, everyone. All right. Gotta love Zoom, everyone. Here we go. So here's the thing. I want, I want you to get with the person who invited you and say, hey, you know what? Whoever invited and say, Sal, Sally, I want to meet John. I, I, wanted, I want to get more details on how to make more money. I am now 40, 45, 50, 55, 65, whatever your age is, and I'm not where I want to be financially, and I think it's time I need to get more details. Or two, you just want to know how to invest your money and make money make money for you, right? And number three, some of you are like, well, I want to just talk to you directly, John. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to give you my cell number at the end of this, and I want you to call me, okay? Don't be shy. I don't bite, but I would like to meet you. Don't let this goatee intimidate. And you're like, he doesn't look like a nice guy. He looks like Fu Manchu. Listen, uh, it doesn't have to do anything with me being nice, okay? I want to coach you, all right? And there are a lot of coaches okay, aren't going to be the easiest people. They're going to be tough because they want you to succeed. And so I want you to know that this guy right here on this picture that you can see now, let me just tell you this. This guy's made millions of dollars, okay? But he came from Thailand with his family, okay? From Thailand with his family. And he came to this country seeking the American dream. And he wanted a dream, okay? And, uh, and, and he was a dreamer. And he came to America and he only knew one thing, which is to cook Thai food because he's from Thailand, okay? So he opened up a restaurant with his wife, thought he owned the business, but then discovered that, that the business owned him. He had no life. He had two beautiful daughters. He couldn't even spend time with them. Well, let me just tell you something. One of our associates, one of my associates met him at a restaurant and said, Chun, I said, well, can we introduce you to some people like John Shin and a girl named Marla and another lady named Ina? And, and we met with him and his wife. Get this. You know, it's interesting when we say people, you got to go all in. This guy, like, didn't even go to a broker and said, hey, listen, broker, can you sell my business for me? He just closed his doors. He just, he just shut the doors, right? Put a lock on it and says, officially closed. And then he jumped into this industry with us. Now we're all like, oh my God, we got to make sure we help this guy because he's got children. He's got a wife, a family. And it's not like he had any family out here in America. We were it. We could not go screw around with his life. And this guy went all in, right? He went all in. And let me just tell you, this guy's made millions and millions of dollars now. And now he's double the size of his family. He went from two kids to four. So now I, I always say, I don't know where he gets time to make babies, but he's a very resourceful guy, right? And he's got offices now in six different states. And he's got one of the most amazing sales force. And, you know, what blows me away is people always say, John, John, how do you do it? How do you do it? Let me tell you how I do it. I don't do it. What I do is I build leaders. Like this guy right here, just so you know, works like a dog, even though he doesn't have to because he makes pretty darn good residual income, but he wants to become a servant leader. He is a servant leader. He's not one of those title guys. He doesn't walk around and go, look at me, I'm the CEO. This guy is a servant leader. He works seriously. Like, I mean, I thought I worked hard. This guy works as hard as I do, and he makes me look good, right? And, and so I want you to know I'm, I'm very, very excited to have him spend some time with you guys tonight to show you his secrets. Like, how did he do it? You guys, I want you to think about that for a second. He built, a, started a business, no financial service background, no education in the financial service industry, broken English, okay? with only two kids, then he has, while he's in the business and starting a business, he goes to four kids, right? And, and it's just mind blowing. And I wish you guys could not only hear from him, but his beautiful wife, his, wow. 
you know, they, it's true. Like behind every successful man is a successful, significant what other. And both of us, we're very blessed to have the kind of wise we've done, we have. And I got to tell you, me and Chin, we, because he's worked hard, he's paid the price. He's not lucky. You know, it makes me sick and I take it offensively when people say, you know, guys like you and Tune, you guys are lucky. Yeah, you know what? You can, I've, I've never heard of luck when you work your fanny off, okay? This guy is one of the most hardest working, most committed guys. Without further ado, and I want you guys to know, this guy has spoken in front of, in front of like an arena of 10, 15, 20, 25,000 people. He doesn't even need an introduction, but for those of you who are here for the first time, some of you guys are brand new associates, please. Uh, I know you guys will be up on your feet and you're clapping right now. So I'm not gonna even do a q and A. I'm just gonna turn off my video, zip my mouth, take some notes. Let's welcome to this webinar podcast, my good friend, Tune Fruchakun. Tune, what's up, brother? All right. Thank you so much, John. You know, I feel goose Goosebumps, you know, my body's just shaking right now. I mean, thank you for a very, very uh, wonderful introduction about, about me, right? So um, thanks again, John Shin, to be uh, having me on this webinar. Uh, and, and, you know, I always want to be on your webinar because I watch your channel, YouTube, Instagram, you know, I have seen a lot of, you know, celebrity people, who successful people, you know, on your channel or, or podcast. I'm like, one day, one day, I will have, you know, phone call from John Shen and invite me to be on this uh, uh, YouTube on webinar just like this. It feels blessed, you know, for, you know, my, myself and for my family, right? Just thank you so much, John. I, I mean, I mean, just so you know, okay, probably maybe this is going to be your first time on this uh, Zoom or YouTube, all right? I mean, just so you know, because back then, you know, when I, I um, I started a business, you know, I, I need mentor, right? Because back then I thought I'm, I'm all that. I think I, I thought I'm all good, that makes sense. But, but one day I met with John Chin and said, hey, John Chin, he asked me, hey, too, what do you do? I said, hey, I own a business. And he asked me what kind of business? I said, I own a restaurant. And he looked at me, you know, because back then I thought I'm all good because I make, you know, half a million dollars a year, you know, at the restaurant business. I met with him, said, no, no, you don't own a restaurant. The restaurant owns you right? I feel like, boom, just like that. I'm like, wow, he made a good point, you know, until I get mentorship from him. I, my family is so blessed to have him as a mentor. Um, John, I, I don't talk about it that much, but I want to say from the bottom of my heart, um, this kind of life that I have, you know, I, I just give all the credit to you, you know, and your family. Thank you to Aline Chin that gave me the opportunity to be on, you know, your organization, right? So um, <clears throat> a little bit about me, right? John just mentioned about, I came from Thailand in 1999, you know, at that time, my dad just told me, you know, just like other Asian, you know, people, you know, my dad sent me here to make money, right? I said, okay, dad, you know, I make money. But uh, when I was a kid, you know, my dad always told me that, hey, Toon, you gotta go to the US, become a dishwasher, 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 right? I have no idea why he kept saying that, you know, when I came here, I just followed to his dream, right? I, I, my first job in the US, I was a dishwasher, right? And um, probably I make my dad dream come true. And I found out, you know, like we cannot, you know, we cannot make that much money to pay the bills. And, and, and um, so I have to change my call my daddy, dad, you sent me here to be a dishwasher and, and you said I'm going to become a, you know, a successful uh, a per person, you know, like I don't make that much money. He said, you find out a job, you know, do whatever it takes to win, right? So, you know, and, and, and if I something, you know, you need to own a business, like you need to own your own business to make a lot of money, right? Because I believe if you have a job right now or you are an employee, right? You can, one day you can go to your boss and ask your boss and, hey, boss, do you, I mean, do you build this business to pay me million dollars a year, right? You can ask your boss that question. If your boss say no, just quit, just quit. Get your own business, you know, because 
Um, cause I was, I was somebody else employee before, right. And, 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 and I found something, you know, it doesn't matter how hard that you work, you know, cause I always show up early cause I want to impress my boss. Right. And impress my, my coworker, you know, I, I, I was the first person that go into the restaurant, you know, be nice to everybody. You know, I wash uh, dishes, you know, I, I help other people, you know, and I got the pay the same, you know, every paycheck, every paycheck, every paycheck. I look at my paycheck like, wow, it's the same. It doesn't matter how hard, you know, that I work at that uh, um, job, right? I got to pay the same, the same, the same. I found something, you know, I found something. You need to be your own boss, right? Because if the more you work hard, you're going to get paid a lot, a lot, a lot of money, right? So what that is take to be successful, right? Because my, that's my dream, you know? I understand my dad told me, become a dishwasher, become a dishwasher, but I want to be successful, right? So what that it takes, right? Like John just mentioned, like, hey, you have to be all in, right? Because if you want it all, you have to be all in, right? Probably maybe most of you guys right now, um, um, I came here, I, I found something that I like to play, it's called poker, right? So when you play poker, you know, and one time, you know, I, I, ha I have some of my friends, you know, that they teach me to uh, play a poker, right? And I put some small chip, some small chip, some small chip, and I want like, because um, I play with my friend like 25 cents, and I spend like all night with some of my friends, right? We have a poker and a uh, poker and I with some of the, the, the my friend, right? So I put 25 cent, 25 cent. When I come back home, you know, I, I, I spend like four or five hours over there, right? So I win like five bucks, you know? And one time, you know, my wife like, dude, why you want to spend like four or five hours to, to win five bucks, right? So what, what do you mean? Like, hey, you know, cause at that time when I, when I, I married, you know, I own restaurant, right? And, and, and my restaurant is like um, really successful. How is that, right? But, but I'm more excited about five bucks, you know, when I play poker with my friend, right? She said, that's a waste of time. You know, I realized something and that time I quit, you know, like, hey, you know what? I don't want to spend time to make five bucks. I'm happy, you know, if you, because I have a big dream, right? What that is take to be successful, number one, the keyword, you have to dream big. When I said big, it's mean big, okay? Why, right? Number one, nobody want to follow somebody who has small dream. If you have small dream, like you don't need mentor, you don't need anybody, right? Like, just like you want to own a business, right? I say, hey, I want to own a, a restaurant, have five tables, you know, um, I don't need much people, right? So that's why, you know, like nobody want to follow your dream, like nobody want to uh, buy your dream because you, you, your dream small, but it's okay if your dream small, it's it fine, totally fine, right? But hey, if you think, you know, like for me, because I have only one life, I have only one life. And, and that's it, right? I want to maximize my time. That's why I want to have a big dream, big vision. The more I talk about my dream, the more, the more I talk about vision, some other people try to start and believe in my dream, right? Because, you know, like every, every big company, they start something small, but they have a big vision, right? And somebody believe in it, you know? So that's why if you want to be successful, right? If you want to be that, you have to have a big dream, big dream, big dream. How big? Until other people laugh at you, you know? Like one time, right? Some, um, you know, some of my friends asked me, hey, like, why you want to, to, to make a lot of money, right? I said, you know, when I was a kid, I have a dream, you know, because, um, you know, when, when, when I was broke, you know, I always, you know, uh, look into the sky, you know, look on the moon, look at, I'm looking at the moon just like that. Like, like, hey, I believe one day I want to go <laughs> like on the moon, right? I said, yeah. And, and, you know, I found something, you know, there has a tour you can go to on the, like, on the space, you know, but you have to pay a lot of money, right? So that's why, like, one of, one of my, I mean, funny dream, you know, like, hey, I want to go on the moon. I want to step, you know, on the moon and, and, Maybe I, uh, maybe I will do uh, the Facebook live and <laughs> come back to my uh, friend, right? That, that laugh at my dream, right? Then how, I mean, with that dream, people are like, tune you crazy, you know? Like nobody go to the moon. 
as I told him, you know, hey, I'm not the first person gonna go on the moon. You know, if somebody already did that, I believe that I can make it, right? So <clears throat> no more you have big dream until people laugh at your dream, you know? Just like, um, <clears throat> cause think about this, okay? So how about your dream house? Uh, did you do in house? Have you thought about your dream house? When, 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 you, when we were a kid, right? When we were a kid, we want to have a big house, nice house, maybe dream car. I don't know about your dream car, right? Like John, like I went to John Sheen house like, like a couple of days ago. I, I saw every car that a man can dream about that amazing. Like, wow, he has a big dream. That's, and that's why he can achieve it, right? So <clears throat> I don't know about you. When, when, when we were a kid, you know, when, all, when you were a kid, so we always have a big dream, you know, but when we grow up, right? Now your dream kind of getting smaller, getting smaller, getting smaller. Why people want to get, I mean, their dreams getting small, I mean, get smaller, right? Because they want to feel comfortable. So, oh, okay, probably I don't need that kind of car. So I don't need to work hard, right? So probably I didn't, I, to get comfortable, right? You need to get out of your comfort zone. Like for me, you know, I, I, I never thought about I came here to be a dishwasher, but my dad told me to be that. Hey, Tune, you come here to get uh, washing dishes and send the money back to Thailand, you know? I'm like, no, th that's not me. You know, I, I want to have a, a, a life. You know, I want, I want to become a business owner. I have a bigger dream. So when you have a bigger dream, you know, like you work more than other people, right? Like well, probably, you know, Josh, Tune, you work so hard. I know that John Sheen worked harder than me, you know? That's, think about it, it's like, he makes money like, like all the men that dream about, right? And he still work it like every day, every day, every day. You know, if you, if, if you know him in person, you know, I get mentored from him in person. One time, you know, I went to his, um, you know, we, we, we went to Hawaii together. I went to his room, you know, I, I think I, I believe that at midnight, you know? And the next thing that I, I, I see to is what? He turned on his um, uh, laptop, you know, and hey, Tune, let's do a business plan. Let's plan about the whole year. So from midnight, you know, I stay in his room until five o'clock in the morning. I'm like, I'm so excited, you know, but the, the, the way I look at him, like, wow, he still work at five o'clock. And next thing they know, we had to get up at seven o'clock in the morning. And he was there before me, you know, like, that's why he worked hard. No doubt about, you know, working hard, you know, you're going to get what you want, right? So that's why, you know, when you get to, when you associate yourself with somebody that doing that right now, you feel like, man, I want to get into this circle, you know, because I want to be in his circle. I want to be, you know, get close to him, get close to him, get close to him. That's why you have to be careful about who you hang out with or um, your association, right? I believe that association, association is everything. You know, big dream, big vision, because if you associate yourself with somebody who has small dream, they will laugh at you. They will say that impossible. You never going to make it, right? So that's why you need to associate yourself with somebody who have the same dreams like you. So I believe that most of people, that we have a lot of people on this webinar right now on Zoom or probably you see, uh, see me on YouTube. I hope you find or looking for somebody who have a big dream and big vision, right? So number two, you have to believe in yourself, right? You have to believe in yourself um, that you can do it, right? That, that's very important that you're going to do it and you can do it, right? Because I believe that a lot of people has a big dream, right? Um, but your dream just scare you sometime, right? Like, okay, let's say um, you want to go to the moon, but hey, you know what? probably you cannot make it I and mean, you don't believe in yourself that you're gonna you know, make a lot of money you can go to the moon right like for me i have i have my dream and i believe that i can do it right um don't laugh at my dream probably someday you're gonna see me on the moon and live from the moon right so i believe that you know i believe that i can do it you know I'm, i don't want to dream about it and do not think about it right so I, I either I uh, I do it or I die trying. That amazing. So I believe in myself, you know, because I, when I was a kid, right. So um, I grew up in the you know, small town, right? Small town that um, most people, you know, that around my my neighbor, they are poor. Okay, they are poor. My name is some some of them we call slum, right? Like they super poor. So <clears throat> you know, one day, right? One day, you know. 
my neighbor, you know, who lived next to my, uh, next, next to my, my house, right? So, so <clears throat> they built another house, get bigger and taller, you know? And when I was, I think when I was like eight years old, you know, and I, I asked my dad, how come that neighbor, you know, they, they, they built a new house, you know, behind their what? Backyard, right? Like, I, I'm, I'm just curious as a kid, right? One day I made this decision, I walk, you know, to, uh, into their house, like, hey, you know, hey, um, I asked my neighbor, hey, what do you do for living, you know? And he told me about stuff, you know, let's say, hey, if the guy just like me want to be just like you, you know, what I have to do? He said, do you believe that you can become, uh, you know, successful? He said, sure, I believe in that. Yeah, just say that. Talk to yourself every day, every day, every day. Because he told me this, you know, he talked about his dream, his vision every day, every day, every day. Just like one time, you know, John Shin told me that tune, you got to tattoo into your brain that you can do it, that you can do it, right? So he told me that, you know, so I talk to myself, I can do it. I talk about my dream, my vision, you know. Um, one of our, our mentors, right, his name is Rich Thor, you know, like, hey, and uh, one time we, we went to his house, right, and he's like, hey, um, who has goal, you know, who talk about dreams and goal every day, you know. So me and my wife, we, we, we raise our hand. How about this? When you get up, you talk about your dreams and goal, you know. You know, I did it, you know, because I, I talked it one time, right. He told me this, okay. When you get up, talk about your dreams and goal every day, every day, every day. And before you go to bed, every day, every day, every day. I'm asking, you know, I asked myself, well, why, right. Until I met another, um, my, uh, our mentor, uh, he sent it, um, Monty Holm, you know, he said, the more you talk about your dreams and goals, just like you tattooed into your brain. So let's say this, before you go to bed, you talk about your dreams, you know, as loud, okay? Not just like, okay, you know, read into your mind. No, you have to speak out loud, right? So let's talk about this, okay? Uh, before you go to bed or we, before you fall to sleep, you talk, hey, I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire. I want to be a millionaire, right? And you fall to sleep. Next morning, you remind yourself again, talk to yourself as loud as you can again. You're going to be a millionaire. You're going to be a millionaire. You're going to be a millionaire. So that morning, that day, you know exactly what you have to do to become a millionaire, right? Because you tattoo into your brain every day, every day, every day, every day. You remind yourself every day, every day, every day, every day, right? Now, so think about this. So you focus on your dream and you go every day, every day, every day. Now, whatever happened into your life, just like this pandemic, right? The COVID-19, the next election, you know, you don't even care because what? You focus on your dream and you go every day, every day, every day. To be honest with you, I don't even care about who's going to be the next president, you know, or uh, the COVID-19, whatever happened, you know, because it's not like a bad news to me. But the more you focus on your dream and goals every day, I'm happy. My family happy. My wife happy because what? We talk about dreams and goals every day, every day, every day. I know it sounds crazy, but I want you guys to start, you know, do that every day, every day, every day, right? So that's why now the more you tattoo into your brain, now you become one of them, right? You believe in yourself every day, every day, every day, right? The last thing that I want to talk about, you know, is called leadership, you know? Um, this is what I believe. This is what I believe, right? Let's say this, okay? Maybe you have, you know, um, um, really high education, you know, maybe you have master degree, PhD, or, you know, maybe you, you know, I mean, what make other people different? Let's say this, if I um, apply for a job, right? Let's say I have the engineer uh, degree and you have the engineer degree. So we apply for a job, you know, the same position, right? So we, now we are engineer, right? We are we're engineer. And how come this guy make money more than this guy? Because his leadership skill. Now he manage more people than you because that's why people pay you more for what? The leadership skills, right? So that's why tonight, um, tonight right? Tonight, I want to talk more about leadership skill, leadership, leadership, leadership. Because today we talk about making money, making money, making money. But don't misunderstand because it doesn't matter how much that I make, right? I talked to John about this. I want to give back. 
to my you know society right because what people came from thailand into the us right they want to be a dishwasher because <laughs> probably that dad you know told them to be a dishwasher just like my dad right so i don't know about you guys right but definitely i want to give back i want to teach people other people how to fit just like john shin teach me right so <clears throat> let's talk about leadership right so three step of um leading right three step up number one okay number one if you have pen and paper this is about time right so number one you have to lead yourself first okay lead yourself why right um i know this is my bad okay my bad for example okay lead yourself okay um one time right my wife hey tune you look chubby right i said um why you say that you look chubby. You know, when you when you met me, you have six pack, right? Like you you have six pack. Now you you look chubby and cutie, right? <laughs> so I said, um, so you want me to go back to you know workout something just like that? She said, yeah. Why don't you do it, right? So <clears throat> you know, before I met my wife, you know, I work out every day. You know, maybe one hour, two hours every day, right? I have discipline about that. You know, I I I, I go to the gym push up, you know, one hour, two hours, right? So after we got married, I stopped going to uh, the gym, right? Excuses, you know? So I told my wife, and just say, hey, you know, I, I have the beautiful, uh, the most beautiful in the world. Why I need to look cool, right? My wife told me, to, I want you to just look the same, okay? So <clears throat> now I, um, uh, she told me that, I said, Tune, you need to get up early in the morning, go to the gym and come back, right? So when I get up, you know, number one, right, you have to lead yourself. So <clears throat> I, I got up that day, you know, and I have two voice, you know, two voice sets, right? Like if you ask me what two voice sets, th yeah, that, that, the one that's asking you right now. So number the first one, I go, hey, you got up already. Get your shoe, go run, go to the gym, right? So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm going to follow you, okay? I'm going to follow your voice. The other voice come, right? No, you go back to sleep. You go back to sleep. This is not you. You don't go to the gym anymore, too. And I'm like, I start to listen to that voice because, you know, I haven't gone to the gym for years, right? Now I have two voices that, that I remember. Hey, go, don't go, go, don't go, right? But when you commit to yourself, if you want to have sick pack, you have to sacrifice, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to listen to my wife and my wife that I have to go to the gym. So I pick up my shoe, run to the gym. You know, I work out for an hour, right? I run for an hour. So next day, right, my wife wake me up same time, seven o'clock in the morning, right? And I feel sore, you know, like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go back there again, right? I'm like, I have that voice speak really loud. Don't go, don't go, don't go. You get sore, you get tired. I'm like, Tune, you got to go. I'm like, okay. So I went to the gym, right? We're out for an hour, you know, three days later. I'm like, man. And I stopped because I feel sore, you know. Next thing that I know, I, I gained more weight, right? So that's why the first thing, you know, you have to lead yourself until it becomes your habit. You know, you have to discipline about it. And I, ask, I want you guys to ask yourself right now, right? Do you really lead yourself? You know, like, hey, let's say you want to have a big, uh, uh, um, let's say a big sale this year, right? So did you get up in the morning, you make phone call, you know, or focus on your dreams and go every day or not, right? If you miss only one time, you know, you create another habit that, hey, let's go back to sleep, let's go back, don't call, you know, enjoy your life, right? So that's why, you know, you have the number one rule for me, you have to lead yourself. That's why, you know, I talk to myself early in the morning and before I go to bed. And I know exactly what I have to do every day, every day, every day. You know, I make a, like a lot of phone call, a lot of Zoom just like this, you know, and, and, and I mean, it's been, you know, Josh and I talk about Zoom, stock, they go up, you know, because what we're using this. And, and I believe that uh, we're doing this pandemic right now, right? Either you wait for somebody to help you or you know what, I want to help myself first. Like for me, I don't even care about EDD or PPP or, you know, SBA loan. I don't care. You know, you give me, thank you. You don't give me, who care? 
Who cares? You know, I don't even care because I know exactly I want to make it happen. I want to go out, make some phone call, run my business, you know, and make a lot of money, you know, pro, to pro, provide for my four kids, right? So number two, okay, number two. <clears throat> All right, after you lead yourself, you have to lead your team or your organization, right? You have to, um, you have, you have to discipline about yourself, and now you have to lead your organization or your team, right? If you have, if you run a big business right now, why, right? Because what? If you want to have a big goal, big sale for a month or a year, right? Your team look at you, your organization look at you. I mean, have you done something, right? That's why you have to. Set a good example for your team or for, for your organization. Let's say this, okay? Um, if you own a company right now or you have a big sale for this month, right? Your team will look at you. Hey, what do you do differently you know, from the past uh, uh, month or past year, right? To make difference, right? Like for me, you know, I have to show my team. I have to show my organization or my company that, hey, you know what? With or without you, I'm going to make it happen, right? I have to show to my team that's how I get it done. Does that make sense? So your team, if they, wow, one day I want to be just like you, they're gonna ask you, hey, how you did it, right? So now next step is what? They're gonna follow exactly about what you did, not what you talk about, right? Because I know a lot of people, a lot of leaders, you know, they don't do what they're supposed to do to show their team already. I'm happy to have, you know, John Chin as my mentor, you know, he's still, doing it and and you know he lead by good example right so that, hey i want to have a big sale this month you know he not just like talk 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 you know that's why like man i want to be just like him so now i i want to follow him right and i um, i lead myself and my team take a look at that wow tune i want to be just like you now i lead uh, my team right so now my team do ex Exactly, you know, daily routine that I, I, I show to my team. You know, you're going to see me on this webinar every day, every day, every day, right? So that's why you need to lead your team. Lastly, lastly, right? And this is very important. You know, if you want to make money more than other people, okay? Guys, money is, is, is good, you know? Making a lot of money is good, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, right? It's all about money because, you know, we want to make sure that today is during the pandemic, right? You can keep your house like that. You can keep, you can pay your mortgage. You know, you can pay your rent. We don't want you to lose your business. You know, that's, that's our key today, right? So number three, lead all the leaders, right? Because if you want to win more than other people, you have to lead all the leaders, because next thing that you lead, you lead yourself, you lead your team, and one day your team become leader, right? Your team become leader. You still have to lead all the leader. You build leader, you create leader, you mentor leader, right? And this is gonna be very big deal. Why? You have to set high standard for your team, for your company, for your organization, right? Just like whatever you did in the past, you keep doing it, you keep doing it, you keep doing it. That's why I love, you know, uh, our company or um, I love my team. I love my organization, even though my leader, my mentor, you know, like John Shin, you know, um, you know, everybody's still doing it. You know, you're going to see them, right? Like on the webinar, on Zoom, every time I feel like, man, I get tired, you know, and every time I, you know, uh, turn on my laptop, I see an uh, email, you know, John Shin gonna be this time, this time, every day, every day, every day. If my leader still doing it, you know what? Nothing can stop me, right? So that's why leading other leader is is the best thing that that I want you guys to keep doing it, keep doing, it, keep doing it, right? So <clears throat> that's all about you know three step of leading, right? But if you ask me, if you ask me like. Um, cause this is, this is, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I do. Right. Um, the reason, you know, cause we talk about money, 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 right. To be honest with you, <clears throat> money is not make me happier, you know, cause I'm already happy <laughs> when I was broke. I don't even know I was broke, you know, when I don't have money to buy food. I don't even, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> or, uh, unhappy about that. That make sense? Because I sometimes, you know, when we were, I mean, when I was a kid, you know, 
we didn't have enough food, you know. But my, my dad tried to make joke. He he's the funniest guy. Oh, maybe probably John Cena you know, funnier, right? So he he make things, you know, make me happy, even though we don't have enough food to eat. Does that make sense? So that's why, you know, like why I want to make a lot of money. So I want to, I mean, I mean, I want to 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 um talk to you guys about this, okay? And I want you, you know, to to set a goal that you doing this for somebody else that you love, right? You doing it for uh, for maybe for somebody else, right? Because if you do it for you, probably um, your capacity is gonna be right here. But if one day you want to do for somebody else, right? Maybe somebody that you love, maybe your community, right? Like for me, I'm from Thailand, you know? You know that Thailand is, um, everybody that came here, um, they have small dream, nothing wrong with that. I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, because the way that our uh, culture tradition, you know, uh, we came here because, you know, sometimes I talk to uh, one of her, uh, my, my mentor, right, Marla, you know, like she asked me, hey, Toon, you know, like, wh why you want to work so hard, right? Because I want to set a good example for others, you know, I want to, um, you know, we, we, we want to give back somehow, some, you know, but I realized something, you know, like, if you give them money, they're going to ask for more and more and more and more, right? But if you do something great, something good, you know, um, <clears throat> they want to do exactly what you do. That's why I want to set a good example for others. I want to show to, you know, to my community, you know, I know that a lot of people, you know, from, you know, uh, uh, Imrig, your guys are maybe immigrant or some, something, right? Just like the book, right? Like how rich Asian think. So, <clears throat> cause I want to show other people that if you're willing to sacrifice, you know, your time um, um, and show other people, you know, you can achieve whatever what you want, right? That's why you read that book, you know, that uh, John Shin mentioned about that already. You need to, to, cause I want to set a good example. It's not about money that I want, but I want to set a good example for other people. If one day, you know, somebody who has broken English, like John Chin, you know, I asked him, you know, hey, John, do, do you really, um, cause you know, sometimes he asked me, hey, Tun, can you say that again? You know, can you say that again? And he, he asked me nicely. I'm like, oh, what happened? You know, and, and one time I feel like, wow, English is like my third language, you know, and he makes joke about that. But, you know, cause we, we really close to each other, right? It's like, yeah, you know? So <clears throat> if one day, you know, cause, you can have all the excuses that you want, right? Like for me, I can tell everybody, you know, the reason I'm not succeed because I have broken English. The reason I'm not succeed because I don't have high education. The reason I'm not succeed because of blah, 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 blah. I can give all the excuses, you know, but hey, at the end of the day, your family, care about you the most, right? Other people just, maybe they laugh at you for five seconds and they forget. But hey, if you provide, you know, the lifestyle, you know, and, and show to your community, right? Show to other people that, hey, you know what? It doesn't matter who you are right now or who you were before, but if you want to wielding the shame, look at Toon. He doesn't have anything better than us, but if he can do it, we can do it more than him, right? So, guys, um, I want to you know give you guys some more time about um, Q and A. If you have any question for me to talk about, I mean your business, or if I can help you to do some business, feel free to ask me right now. John, are you there? There we go. Yeah, All I'm right. here. Okay, good job, too. Let's give them a big round of applause, everybody. Thank Man. You so much, All right, here we go. Hold on a second. I wanted to just um, – let's do some uh, – just a few questions and answers here because we don't have a whole lot of time. Mm -hmm. So down below, guys, you're going to see a little thing. You'll see Q&A. Now's the time to ask. So first one just popped up here. It says here, what has been your toughest obstacle 
And how did you overcome it? Also a great job, too. Oh, thank you so much. That's what it says. Yeah. Uh -huh. What was your first, what was your toughest obstacle? You know, I learned something about that, you know, because all the fear, you know, all the fear that you fear the most, you know, most of the time never happen, right? Let's say, you know, because back then, you know, like, hey, probably, you know, I cannot make it uh, into any business because I don't have high education. Um, my English is, is horrible at that time, right? So I make it up, you know, to make me feel like, oh, that's going to be my excuse that if I don't succeed. And I found something, you know, if you overcome all your fear, you know, nothing can stop you. So if you ask me, you know, what um, the most, you know, something that happened to my business, I believe that I overcome all the fear that I have. I have no room for excuses anymore. It doesn't matter what's going to happen into your life. One thing I can tell right now, you know, nothing can stop you. So that's why I talk about belief. I believe in myself. Nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me. So I don't feel anything that can stop me right now, John. Awesome. By the way, just so you guys know, um, you know, right now, when I first met Botoon and Chinny, the very first time I met them, you know, you, you could see it in their eyes, their genuine desire to win. Like they, you could just see how hungry they were, you know, and you know, they, they would come to our house, um, you know, and sit down literally with a notepad and a pen and take notes just to learn. I mean, that's how hungry they were. And, and, and just so you know, like, it's crazy. Like you guys have a hard time trying to get people on a zoom meeting just to get, I mean, all they gotta do is click on a link and you're here and we're all connected. We could be in front of each other. You don't have to drive through traffic. No, um, you don't have to drive anywhere. Tune would drive four, five, six hours just to get to one meeting, just so you know. You know, and then and then next thing I know, I, I, I said, hey, you guys know where Tune's at? And they said, oh, he, he's, in, he's in like Nevada somewhere, up in, uh, what's that place, the top part of Nevada? Um, mm -hmm. Reno, he's up in Reno. And then a few minutes later, we found out that he, one of his associates was in the hospital and I was like, wow. And then next thing I know, I hear, I, 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 someone says, yeah, Tune and Chinny are at the hospital because one of their associates at the hospital. Then they drive all the way back at two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning just to visit one of their associates and make sure they're healthy and they're doing well sitting in a hospital. Do you guys understand how hard Tune and Chinny work? See, that's the thing is that most people won't, don't want to work that hard. They don't want to pay that kind of a price. Right. I mean, I can tell you right now that if you guys would just work that hard just for just a little bit here, I want to show you guys something real fast. OK, and I'm going to go back to some Q&A. Hold on a second. Let me just. A um, um, couple slides here. Hang on, guys. Hang on a second here. Uh, by the way, you guys, this is Tunes uh, Instagram down below. Do you guys see it right there? Right. And uh, if you want to follow him also, but. Just so you know, here we go. Uh, whoa, whoa, no. How did it go all the way down there? Okay. Can you guys see this right here? Yeah. Okay, this is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite uh, quotes and it says that if it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. If it doesn't challenge you, it won't change you. See, everybody's always looking for the easy way out. You see, if it was easy, then everybody would do it. You guys, success doesn't success does, is not going to go to people who just don't want to pay the price, right? I can tell you right now, Tune will probably become the first Thai American, uh, what we call in my organization and our organization, what we call senior executive vice chairman. Which at that point, you know, your your passive income is seven figures just in passive income. And he's already, you know, right up there with some of the biggest giants. And, and the one thing you're also going to know about Tune is that he's ferociously competitive. Like he, he's a, he wants to compete and be the best, right? And I want you to know, one of my favorite uh, authors and speakers, a guy named John Maxwell, you know what he said? He says that dreams don't work unless you do. You see, folks, right now, if you're watching TV and you're like on YouTube channel you're on Facebook, you're looking at everybody else and what they're doing, 
Forget it. You're not going to live the life like Tunes living. Okay. I can tell you right now, did you hear Tunes started off? He's like, man, I was a dreamer. I'm a dreamer. I'm every day. I'm hungry. I'm a dreamer. Right. This guy still dreams right now because he's still not like content. The guy still wants to do more, but you've got to go to work and you got to do the dirty, dirty. And everybody always says, well, this is impossible. It's not possible. It, you know, it's interesting about this slide right here. They said that Uber weren't work, wouldn't work, but look at what happened to the taxi industry. Uh, look at what they said. Uh, online stores don't work, but what happened to all the brick and mortar today? They're like becoming extinct. They said that Netflix won't make it, but all, all of a sudden they put, they put a big company called Blockbuster Videos out of business. Now cable TV and everything and movie theaters are almost going out of business. They said that internet wouldn't work, but then guess what? What happened to newspapers? Look at Airbnb. They said, that's not going to work. What's happening to the hotel industry right now? They said that email wouldn't work and look at what's happening in the post office industry. Do you realize that in the next few years, or we probably won't have the United States Postal Service? They said that blockchain won't work. Well, what do you think is going to happen to banks pretty soon? And they said that Spotify is not going to work, but what do you think is happening to radio stations right now? Do you realize when people said to us, our financial business and our model wouldn't work? Boom, man. Do you understand what's happening? That a guy like Toon and Chitty, who comes from Thailand, tears it up, man. This is what I'm talking about. This can happen to any single one of you, just so you all know. Look, where do you want to be? Do you want to be over here on active or you want to be over here on passive and residual? Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be? Okay, look. It, 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 what I would recommend, and if you're here for the first time, listen to Tune, right? How, how long have you been doing this now with us, Tune? Eight years, John. Eight years. Eight years. My gosh, time flies, man. Do you guys know I knew Tune and Chinny when they were this small, in the business, barely making it, struggling, didn't have enough money to figure out how to put food on the table for their kids, trying to figure out how to make their payment, their car payment, and then boom, all of a sudden, look at where they're at today. Right? Do you understand what the definition of poor is for all you new people? It's an acronym and it stands for passing over opportunities repeatedly. Oh my God. Boom. <laughs> right? I mean, folks, get with the person who invited you today. Learn a new skill, get some new knowledge, start a new side hustle, or just go all in like Tune did and start a new business. It's not that you lack time, you lack discipline, you lack desire, and you lack dreams. So let me just tell you something. I want to also congratulate real quickly one of our associates named Akira Ogasawara, who just got promoted to senior associate. So congratulations to Akira. Okay, you did it, Akira. You did it. Good job, man. Okay, and I want you to know that this week, because I would like to celebrate my 26th wedding anniversary with my wife tomorrow. And, and, and it's actually August 13th. But I just want to give my, the love of my life just two full days. That's all I'm asking. So I'm going to take a couple days off here, guys. Okay, just a couple days. That's all I ask. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to spend two days with my wife. And she's given me six months as I've been helping everybody else during COVID-19. Okay, and then as a result, we're not going to have any product training on Thursday. And then next week on Saturday, we got Shintastic Saturday. And then next Tuesday, we got this other dynamic guy named Chris Bain. So I want you to know that I want to stop this real fast. My cell number is here. We want to answer just a couple more questions for Tune because you guys are asking. Okay, here we go, Tune. Give us 30-second responses. Are you ready? If a, if a person does not have a big dream, how do you make them have a bigger dream? So, okay, you have to understand this. You cannot um, make them to have a big dream, right? but you can show them how is your big, uh, big dream can help to achieve to their, their life, right? Let's say this, okay? I don't believe that every, everybody wants to make million dollars because probably, you know, they've been um, like my dad, you know, I mean, you have to understand one thing, my dad, he, he, he doesn't have that big dream, right? So, um, but I show him, you know, hey dad, I can buy you a new car. What kind of car that you want, you know? I bought his, uh, uh, his new car for him, he happy. You know, I, I bought a house for him, he happier. And now he's like, wow, dude, what exactly that you do, right? And now he dream about, oh, he wants to go to a trailer around the world, right? 
actually this year we plan for him to come to the US and uh, we're gonna take him to around the country, right? So same idea, just like, you know, you cannot make them to have a big dream, you know, but you can show them, hey, if you, you know, this is well, what, uh, what you can be and what you can do. And trust me, you know, cause when I started a business, you know, I went to John House. I'm like, damn, I, I want to have this kind of lifestyle, right? Actually, you know, like he just straight my vision, you know, wow, wow, if you have, cause you know, I, I don't know that John, you remember this, you know, I asked, you know, hey, um, um, John and Aline at that time when they started a new business, right? This business, hey, John, you know, why you want to make us money, right? Um, that time, that year, Matthew got into accident, right? And, 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 and John, hey, too, if, if, your, if your daughter, you know, got into like accident, right? And you don't have enough money just to bring him back, what would you do, right? So let's say if the doctor, you know, just like, hey, if you give me $1 million, we can help your, your, your daughter, right? And that time you do what, I mean, do whatever it takes to make $1 million, you know, to, to bring my, my, my daughter back, right? So that's why, you know, like he stressed my vision. You can stress um, your team vision or somebody that didn't have um, a big dream, you know, because you cannot make them, but you can stress that vision to have dream more, dream more and dream again. I hope that answered your question, John. Yes, uh -huh. best 30 second answer ever. Yeah, love it. Okay, um, real quickly, I love this. My father is signing up for uh, business with uh, your organization. Do you have one-on-one -on -one training with becoming a millionaire in less than five years? So that comes from Crystal. And the answer, Crystal, is yes, we have a way to help you make a million dollars. Not in five years, though. In three years. Okay, but we don't do one-on-one -on -one training. I actually have a boot camp. So you may want to reach out to me. You can see my phone number. Um, I'll give it out again real fast. 818-652-5778. Crystal, call me and let's get you into the boot camp with your dad and help you guys get there in three years, okay? Um, next one is, oh, this is a good one. I just graduated from high school and this webinar has really interested me a lot. I am working on earning my health insurance license right now. So is this a good first step and is it all right to keep contacting you guys for more future questions? The answer to that question is yes, you definitely can dial in every uh, Tuesday and Saturdays, ask as many questions as you'd like. We're, we're here for you to answer any of your questions. And let me just tell you what I'm excited about is the fact that you just came out of high school and you're probably only, what, 18 years of age now, right? Is that 18? Was your high school, right? Yeah, high school, you're like 18. Oh, my God. If I can go back today, uh, let me just tell you something. I, I can't even imagine what my life would look like. Knowing what I know now, if I was your age, to find somebody <laughs> that can coach you and mentor you, hey, let me tell you something. Um, high school, I don't, if it's, I don't want to say your name because you, you might be a little bit too young right now, but, uh, hey, can you imagine what your life will look like when you're 25? <laughs> Holy smokes, man. Oh, you're in a good place. And the answer is, yeah, health insurance, life insurance, annuities, retirement. You're in the right place, man. You're definitely in the right place, okay? So welcome to the industry. Uh, next question is, what do you consider to, to be your biggest achievement here in this organization? Well, okay. So let's talk about making a lot of money, okay? Cause you know, like one time, you know, like, cause I'm just curious, you know, like what can measure, you know, let's say your level that, Hey, you, you better than you, uh, who you were before. Right. So, you know, like what can, what can measure, you know, about, Hey, so one thing that I learned, you know, um, it might be money, but don't get me wrong. Cause you know, we talk about money, money, money. Right. Cause if you do, um, let's say this, okay, my kid, you know, I, I start to teach my kid, train my kid to, to make more money when uh, she stay at home, right? So uh, she asked me that I want to get a laptop, you know, I said, I, I, why do you want to get a laptop? Because I can uh, learn more because she loves arts, you know, she likes to draw on the, on the computer, right? So I have all the money that can buy in one second, you know, but I want to challenge my kid, you know, hey, why don't we do something so you can make money? So she draws something, you know, and, and she doesn't know that, hey, other people are going to buy it or they're going to like it, right? So what can measure that her art, um, uh, what, she, what she does, you know, people can, can I mean, uh, um, show that, hey, 
she's successful, right? I told her, if you can sell a lot and you can make money, that means people like your, your uh, piece of art, does that make sense? But if you cannot sell even one, that maybe people don't like your, 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 your stuff, right? So why don't we do this, you know? Just do whatever you can, try as hard as you can. We try to sell it and see how much that you can make from your, your, your piece of art, right? Next thing that we know, we have 3,000 people bought her stuff and she made $3,000 like in one month, right? So I would say if something that can measure your success, probably, you know, maybe uh, um, your money, I mean, don't get me wrong, but don't misunderstand about what the message that I can, uh, I'm going to tell you tonight, right? It doesn't like, oh, how about if I don't make you know, um, a lot of money, can I be successful? Yeah, maybe you can try something else, you know? But in the business, the only thing that can measure your success is how much that you can make, right? So for me, you know, um, <clears throat> the money that I make right now is more than whatever I wanted. That I make sense. Like, I, I don't need a lot of money, but I have to prove to other people that, hey, this business is good for everybody. You can do it. I can do it. If I can do it, probably you can do better than me. So that's why I have to set a very high standard to other people, you know, it's like, hey, if the guy just like me can do it, probably you can do it. Awesome. Hey, one of your associates, Chun, um, Sarah Lee is on here and she said something really powerful here. She says the other brilliant thing that Chun said was only if your dream is very big, will it inspire the team? Little dreams do not inspire people. That's true, right? I mean, how do you share your dream with your team and show them their part in it without the risk of making it sound like you're bragging to them? I understand. Okay. So you have to, okay. You have to get into your, your people first, right? You ask them, you know, a question, you know, every time I sit down with, you know, uh, my associate, right? I ask them personal question, personal question, personal question, just like Sarah, you know, like the person that asked this question, right? I asked about her dream, her goal, you know? The first priority for her right now, she wants to retire her family, right? I, I, this, I mean, her family really beautiful, you know? Uh, people love each other, you know? So I have to remind her, hey, remember you told me this, you want to retire your parents, right? Have you ever asked like your parents, like if I want to retire you, like how much do you, do you want from me, right? Because let's say this, because I asked my mom to, hey mom, if I want to retire you, like how much do you, you, you want from me, right? So I can retire you. So my mom gave me some number, you know, like, hey, this is how much I want, okay. If I can give you this kind of money, would you quit everything to stay home, you know, uh, spend time with me, you know, hang out with my kid, right? He said, sure, you know. So I know all her number. I know all her, I mean, I mean, most of my associate team that say, hey, they say what they want. Sometimes it's not about the money, right? It's about um, something that they, 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 their first priority, you know, sometimes. But at the end of the day, most of the things that they want, you know, it requires some money or maybe a lot of money to fill that dream, you know, retire parents, buy home for their family, you know, may take uh, the kid to vacation, right? So the, those questions, you know, I, I, I took notes. So sometimes I, I ask them, you know, some of my team that text me about her dream, her, right? Now as a leader, I have to remind them, remember what you told me? This is what you want, this is what you want. Let's get it done. Let's, let's make it happen. You know, think about this. I mean, if you can help your team or your associate, you know, to achieve that dream, start, you cannot like make million dollars maybe next year or tomorrow. Right. So, but Hey, start from step by step, step by step, step by step and remind them, remind about their dream, remind them about their goals, right. Every day, every day. I believe that um, one thing that I'm, I love, you know, I want to see my team win. You know, I want, I want, to help to their dreams come to i want to make that dream come true yeah yeah you guys um thank you tune we are like 11 minutes over time and i apologize we went over time but it's so good and the questions are so amazing we appreciate that uh and all your you know your how you're engaging the speaker and everyone tune first of all congratulations to you and your wife chinny uh everything you guys have done you guys are such a great example to everyone else 
And um, we just uh, can't tell you how much we appreciate you. You are an asset to our organization. To, you're an asset to me. And I just want you to know that um, we wouldn't be where we are without great leaders like you. So we appreciate what you and Chinny do. And for those of you that are joining us, we apologize that we're out of time, but we hope that you got a lot of value out of this. Thank you so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you guys next week on Tuesday with another wonderful guest speaker. Have yourself a beautiful week and a fantastic weekend. We'll see you guys later. Take care and have a beautiful evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sean. Bye-bye.